Do you have a pattern or a crochet item or a technique that you keep going back to? My number one favorite is this here kind of a corner to corner triangle shawl. I have made many of them over the years in different colors, different types of yarns, both for myself and to give away. I have also given a couple to this project where they were collecting shawls and lap blankets for people who live in senior homes. This one has tassels in the points. I really like that. The result of course is very different if you are using fingering weight yarn like here or very chunky yarn. Here I have a size 10 crochet hook and this is yarn that I found in a garage sale type of place so I, I couldn't get any more of it anymore and it has sequins in it too. Some of these have been done using these yarn cakes where the color changes gradually. Some of those are specifically meant for shawls either knitted or crocheted. The technique is corner to corner starting at the point and it's the same technique as the corner to corner where you make all kinds of pictures only without designs and this is lighter because there's more chains in between those pixels. Now we can look at how you crochet this. So we see how this goes and at the end I will also show another slight variation of this. What makes this very easy is that it grows automatically. You don't need to worry about that. The pattern automatically makes it a triangle shape. So we start here at the tip and first we have one pixel and then two and then three and so on. Automatically on every row you get one more. We start with the chain. So make a slip knot and chain seven. seven and then a double crochet using the American term into the fifth stitch from the hook. So five, one, two, three, four, fifth. Double crochet there and then two more double crochets in the next two stitches that are left from our chain. Here's the start and then you chain eight. Eight and as we go on every time at the end of a row you chain eight and again go into the fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth and uh, a double crochet there. And uh, two more double crochets. like this here and now we twist that over so that the loop we made is in front of us there and uh, chain one and uh, slip stitch into that there chain loop and we will always have one chain in between these groups of three double crochets then chain four and uh, three double crochets in that chain loop. There's three. So now we already see that it started to grow. Now there are two of these pixels or groups of double crochets on this round, on this row, and then chain eight. And again into the fifth, two, three, four, five. And uh, two more in those next ones. And as you see, we always have one chain left. So that makes it lighter compared to the basic C2C. And chain one and again turn. And now you go into this here loop in front of you and uh, slip stitch. And then continuing with four again, four chains and then three 
double crochets in the chain space. And then chain one and go into the next chain space there with a slip stitch and four chain four and then three double crochets. And by the way, if it feels that I'm going too fast, remember that on any device you can always slow a video down from the settings. So now we have three and uh, continue the same way. Again, eight and into the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. and chain one and turn and again into this here first one in front of us and four three double crochets chain one and then skip to the next one. So this is where we see that it grows because the number of these stitches that you jump from one to the next is going to grow on every row by one. And four. And a group of three double crochets. And into the last one here, and four, the group of double crochets. So this is what I mean when it's so relaxing, you just repeat the same after you get going. So now we have four of these. I'll do one more here now this way, and then I'll show you the shawl with the variation. So again, eight. And then the three double crochets starting in the fifth. Chain one and turn. And uh, in the first loop. And now regardless of how many of these here bits you have here, you always do the same thing. So for chaining four and three double crochets and chain one. So this is what you keep repeating. Chain four, three double crochets, chain one and jump to the next one. And the same also goes for the last one. So what is different is only when you start to turn. I'll do these three now there still here. So now we have five of these pixel bits and on the next row you have six and so on. So this will continue now to grow automatically while you work just the way we have been doing. So next you would again change eight and then turn and so on. And then I mentioned a variation and it's this here. It is otherwise the same if you look at it but it it looks a bit lazier and what creates that is that there's a pico with three chains on in the middle of each of these chain threes plus there's one more chain everywhere. I have a video of how I made this here shawl so you can check that out if you like a sort of a lazier version. And now you just continue growing it and keep going until the shawl is as large as you want it to be. What type do you think you would like best? A colorful one or a single color or stripes? 
or chunky or fine, you can of course do all of those.